Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It's the 18th of September 2024. Lovely, lovely sort of fall afternoon. Um, or, yeah, so anyway, glad you're all here. Uh, not a lot, but uh, kind of the standard stuff. Sunday services this week, 745 in the chapel and Zoomed. Um, and then at 1030 uh, in the sanctuary with live stream. Links for those will go out uh, in the e-news and in the reminders, along with a link that you can tap to uh, download a PDF of the bulletin and announcements, um, so should you want to follow along in that way. Um, if you've not been to the 745 service um, on Zoom um, in the last few weeks, a uh, reminder that we're not showing, we're not showing any slides um, other than those that I prepare for the sermon. So if you want to follow along with the service, um, downloading that PDF uh, of the bulletin will be helpful. It'll also be helpful if you want to follow along with the 1030 service. So uh, just a word about that. Um, and then between the two services, uh, this Sunday we'll have a, um, a presentation as Faith Forum of, from our safety ministry folks. Uh, there will be some hands-on things. You'll learn more about what we've been doing. Um, it should be a really uh, good uh, reintroduction to all of the work that has been done to help us keep ourselves safe in case of almost any kind of emergency. So that will be um, at 9.15 in the chapel, 9.15 in the chapel. Um, following Sunday, the 29th, um, in addition to it being Family Sunday, there will be um, a demonstration and workshop after the 1030 service, not between the services, but after the 1030 services on how to use our AED um, and an introduction to CPR. Um, it's sign up if you want to have hands on training uh, with that. I know we have a few spots left, um, but you're welcome to, to be there for the training, um, even if you aren't able to get on, uh, get into the hands on portion and to sort of observe and learn um, sort of by watching. That will happen in the parish hall, and that's on the 29th of September, so um, a week from this coming Sunday. I wanted to say thank you to all of the folks, especially the men's group, but everybody who uh, put together the parish picnic. Um, it was, as, as usual, a lot of fun. The weather was great. Um, appreciate the folks who were watching the bouncy house and Sue uh, LaFont for uh, doing the face painting and all of that, people who set up the, the tents and the tables and did the cooking. There were a lot of moving pieces. And so I'm grateful to um, all who worked on that. And if you see some of those folks, um, pat them on the back and say, good job, good job. Um, coming up in October, uh, the second weekend of October, which is the 11th through the 13th, um, the Creation Care Task Force of the diocese is uh, sponsoring uh, a retreat uh, at Cathedral Ridge. Um, and you are invited to attend. Information about that is in the e-news. It's one of what are called abound retreats, and most of the cost is covered by regions and the diocese. And the diocese. It really only costs attendees $50, so it's very, very reasonable. Um, it begins on Friday night and ends on Sunday morning. Um, this year, the theme is how we want to heal, restore our relationships with God and with the land and with others. And uh, I'll be there helping with worship and uh, doing some workshops. Uh, it's just a great time to be at Cathedral Ridge. The weather should be good. It usually is about that time. Colors might be pretty good, too. So uh, if you've got any questions, please, please, please let me know. Um, and as we've been announcing for the last uh, little while, uh, the Holiday Bazaar is coming up. And we're still looking for signups for folks to make, craft, bake things uh, to add to that Holiday Bazaar. Um, as you probably know, all of the proceeds from that bazaar go to support our outreach efforts. So the more wonderful things we have on the tables, the more money that can go to outreach. Um, and then the last thing that I want to say, and you'll see an announcement about this in the e-news, and some of you have already uh, been affected, is that the scams are going out again. Your uh, e emails and texts are going out saying that, I need you to send me gift cards. I don't need to send you gift cards. 
I will not ask you for gift cards in that kind of in, in that kind of way. Um, I will not tell you that I'm in a meeting, but please do something. No, oh, no, don't believe them. Um, yes, you can tell us that you that, that we're getting them. There's nothing we can do about it except tell you don't do anything. Don't respond in any way. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to close today. We are uh, the, the, the week following the Wednesday, Friday and Saturday of the week following the Feast of the Holy Cross, which was last Saturday, are um, known as Ember Days. And these are traditional days in the church year where we pray for uh, those who are being called, called to ministry, those who are in ministry. It happens four times a year. And uh, so that is this Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. And uh, we had ordinations, diocesan ordinations um, last Saturday. Uh, we're always talking about the ministry of the baptized, that being everyone in this congregation. And so I want to close with a, a prayer um, for all Christians in their vocations. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Look forward to seeing you soon, friends. Bye-bye.